Good morning everybody and when I say good morning I mean good morning. It is beautiful as we watch this sunrise over the mountaintops behind us in beautiful San Diego. I'm Jeremy from Well Tech Designs and as you see behind me I have another awesome van to be showing you guys. I want to show you what we did to it, how we got crazy with it. So stay tuned and let's go check it out. So we're gonna start this build off a little different by showing you not what we did, but what we didn't do. And what we didn't do on this particular build was convert the inside of this van. Explore Van Conversion Company took care of that. And as you can see, I'm totally kicked back reclining in my first class seating chair. I'm ready to tell somebody um, back to Flagstaff, to the airport, I don't know. I'm pretty comfortable back here and you can see that when they did this build out they did not put another seat in the front so I have a ton of room so typically you know you can set up your van on however you want but right in this Explorer van conversion they've set this up to be able to haul four to five passengers in the rear of this van which is really cool it's got the staggered seating I'm kind of digging this it's fun um, gives you a lot of pass-through space. You can see that they have their Dometic um, cooler in here for all their kids gear food, but Overall, this is really neat. I just like showing you guys You know once again what other people are doing to it and not what only what other people But what other companies are doing to it and as you'll see in here something that's really cool um, and you'll notice that this the door panels are completely different on the inside of these Explore van conversions, but this is also really cool. You got shades. So if you want to pull up the shades in there, keep the sun out, take a nap, do what you want to do. Um, another something just really cool that Explore does, and that's not just on these windows, but you'll see it on all of the windows. On the windows that are not doors, though, the curtain goes up in the top and it's kind of hidden up there which is really nice and really clean another thing that they did is there's a ton of cup holders in this but then this is another feature right here that i think is really cool and something that i would definitely like to maybe add to my build would be usb ports in the back and they're actually at every seat here so you can't really see it on the other side but i have usb ports here in the seat where i was sitting i have additional usb ports over here on this side um, just, you know, silly features that make it customizable and just fun. So I definitely dig that. And now for this back seat, which is really cool, but you're not really going to be able to see it from here. So I'm going to take you around back and show you something that's really cool that I love about these Explore seats. And I wish they would just sell seats and we could just put these seats in our build. But uh, let's go check that out. So as we come around back here, we're going to see that we still have a ton of room for storage. We almost have a full two feet. Some other crazy stuff that Explorer does is they put a vacuum in it. So you got a vacuum little compartment here, super neat. Um, and then you have another compartment here for your jack. But I didn't come here to show you that. What I really wanted to show you was this, is the power right here. So we're going to have the power down seat. boom bed like love this right here i wish i could just buy these seats and put these seats in these vehicles and otherwise maybe if one of you guys do have a power seat similar to this i would love to hear where you got it because this is something that a lot of 
you know my customers ask for a lot of you guys ask for um, is I want a rear bed that folds or I want a rear seat that folds down into a bed and what could I do so definitely something really cool and I mean who doesn't love that it's just power and now it's just going to go right back up and tuck away super nice and neat and then if I want I want more leg room up front you can see I'm bringing the seat all the way to the back so definitely really cool once again back here we have the sun shades um, you know giving you a ton of privacy just so simple but yet functional and and nice so definitely digging all of that so once again just kind of wanted to walk you through some of the creature comforts of the inside of the explore van conversion um, and what they're doing but now enough of about what the other guys did let's go talk about what we did so what did we do that's what you're asking well we lifted it see you guys next time we're running the 312 method wheels on there and how do i know they're a 312 wheel is because the last time we ran these wheels i totally forgot what wheel they were and had to help my friend google had to help me out and find it i have google and google will tell me what kind of wheels these are so please hold 75 years later and if you didn't get to see that awesome van conversion i'm gonna go ahead and throw up a card right there and you guys can check out that whole van conversion and i'm sorry four-wheel drive conversion and that was our torsion bar conversion now the big difference between this explorer van that i have here and that van is that was a torsion bar like i said this one is going to be a coilover setup so the big difference in the two is well everything about it and uh, make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of this video where i'm gonna have some cool facts on some other stuff that we might be giving away just kind of throwing that out there and i'm also going to plug one more thing while we're talking here is this awesome sweet hat growing up garage so if you guys don't know what growing up garage is growing up garage is my son's youtube channel and his whole thing is he loves to be at the shop he loves to hang out he loves to work with dad he loves to race i mean he's just a crazy six-year-old i mean what does he not love to do um, when it comes to trucks and tools and all that fun stuff and that channel um, we're going to be doing some fun stuff as far as educational tv and also um, just him having a good time racing so make sure that you guys go over to that instagram i'll put a link down below where you can go to his instagram or his youtube please help him out he gets super excited every time he'll go on and be like dad i have I don't know 50 subscribers and he's just like dad I got five subscribers I'm so happy like oh my gosh um, so it's just really cool it's something fun so help me out and um, we also have these cool hats now that are available if you want to support it and and growing up garage maybe you have a kid that loves being in the garage and that's what it's all about kids that just love being out in the garage with their mom or their dad and love learning about trucks and tools and all the fun stuff and it may not even be trucks you could be boats motorcycles whatever it may be um, we all know that we have kids with passions um, and it's just encouraging those passions to bigger and better things so that's my plug on glowing growing up garage thank you for watching that and make sure you i'm going to pop up a link up there so you can go to his video and his channel and i'll put some information below back to the four-wheel drive so what is different between the two well um our four-wheel drive conversion with our coil over kit and now a little tricky there but let me just cover the parts so we're going to have our box lower control arms which is going to be really nice our billet upper control arms new knuckles and then we're running the heavy duty rare parts steering on this also so 
and I know I should say it like eight times because it just pissed everybody off when I said, hey, we're running our new sway bar, our new sway bar, our new sway bar. So we're running our new sway bar system on this also. So if you haven't seen our sway bar system, um, here, I'll throw up another card and you can go to our 2.8 liter video and check out the whole review on that. And maybe when we're done shooting this video, we'll go drive this, which has the 6.0 gas. So all of those compart components in this that gives us our coilover system. Now, you can run the coilover system in two wheel drive. You don't have to go four wheel drive with the coilover or the coilover system. You can see on here, like I mentioned, we're running a 285 70 17 inch tire on a 17 by eight and a half inch wheel. Now the reason we're running a 285 on this and not a 35 inch tire is because this has the skirting on it all the way around and we would have to do a lot more cutting of the skirting. So if you have an Explorer van, something to think about not being able to maybe go to a 35 unless you're okay with cutting that. So in this setup, works nice. Now, you know that when we do this setup, we scoot everything forward so we've clearanced the bumper and the bottom balance here in order to give you more room on turning. Um, no big deal. Later on, we'll be doing a bumper on this. That's round two. So, full coilover conversion. So you can run that in two wheel drive or four wheel drive. Now you're ready for the conversion itself. So if you want to run the coilover kit in two wheel drive, totally doable. You want to add your own transfer case and axle and all the components, by all means, go for it. Like awesome, here's the, here's the, you know, the suspension part of it to get you rolling and get you ready for the four wheel drive. So next we've added our front transfer, or our front axle. Um, in this axle we've done something really cool. We've, we're running a 410 gear in it with the ARB locker. So that's gonna give us like a true locked up front four wheel drive, which is going to be really nice. Um, and then we're running our three speed transfer case in there, new drive shafts, all the electrical, awesome. In this video, I will make sure to show you where we mounted the shifter and the indicator lights also that are gonna be in this. Um, but that's gonna just talk to you about the main part of it here being the coilover conversion and the four wheel drive all in there. And there'll be all kinds of fun stuff. You guys can check that out. And like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this, we're running our new sway bar kit on there. Um, it's pretty neat. Like it's really fun to drive. I'm digging it. Um, so that's what we did in the front in order to lift this. Now, as we, it'd be like moonwalking. Yeah, Boston's tripping over chains. As you can see right now, we are hanging out on the airport strip. We're not actually on the runway, but I was like, hmm, maybe we should go fly today. Yeah, it's probably not gonna happen, but Maybe next time, I guess we're gonna have to make a video where we'll go flying. Um, it's always fun. I used to do it a lot more and don't get to do it anymore. Um, but anyways, I'll throw that out there. Hey, who's got a plane and wants to take us flying, you know? I mean, hey, I still gotta take up one dude that said that he has a Porsche. Thank you very much. Dude, bring that Porsche down. Let's go for a ride. Like, let's go have some fun. I'm down. Let's go, let's go do silly stuff. All right, so back to this thing in the back. And this thing is just beautiful. This black on black, you can see the curtains are up in the back, like, woo. So in the back, what we've done is we've done our full custom leaf pack in the rear of this. This is gonna be a seven leaf pack, super progressive, super smooth. Love it, dig it, and to finish off the rear and the back of this, we did a set of Fox shocks. So we're getting the height out of the lift out of the springs, we're getting the really nice ride, and we're gonna control that ride once again with the Fox shocks. These Fox shocks are specifically valved for the vans to make them awesome. Now, because we wanna be able to inflate, deflate tires, um, and we don't really need an ARB air pump to 
deflate the tires, but if we take it off-roading and we want to be able to fill up tires, we have that onboard air. In this, we're running the dual compressor in there, and I will also, if you want more information on a lot of the ARB products that we use, there's a link in every video down below that takes you to our Amazon store. So I don't think I've ever mentioned the Amazon store. I'm, all this is just coming to me on this beautiful morning, except the suns have dipped below, behind the clouds and I don't get the beautiful sunrise right now. That was just leaving me romantic here with Austin. But um, our Amazon store. So if you guys <coughs> wanna know a lot of the equipment that we use, a lot of the products that we use, they're all available in our Amazon store and it's not our store, it's just showing you like, hey, these are the products that we use. If you are interested in any of it, click the link below, check that stuff out. Um, all of these ARB stuff is in that store. You don't even have to go through us to buy it. I'm just trying to give you guys information on the stuff that we use, not only in my own personal van, on our customers' vans, that hey look here's a way to go buy it go get it awesome thumbs up um, and I'm not even selling you anything so in the rear super cool awesome but I'm pretty sure that's it except we definitely need to head inside because I know a lot of you guys are asking how do you shift it so in this we're doing the mechanical lever it is not electric so I'm gonna have to open the door for Austin he's gonna get in there I'll go around to the other side we're gonna have some fun Got my morning Starbucks. I like Starbucks. They're good. So, in this, this is a little bit trickier in here. We manipulated this shifter up and over here a little bit farther out of the way because of the center console. So you can see the shifter is down here and there's all kinds of different ways that we can do this. But typically speaking, this is where the shifter lever is going to come through in the floor in order for you to shift into four-wheel drive. Now, what we've also done in this, and I don't know if other people do it or not, but we have two indicator lights here in the dash. You're going to have one indicator light for four high and another one for four low. So depending on if you're in four high or four low, a different light comes on to show you what you're in. So it's not just like, yeah, you're in four wheel drive and one light comes on. So something we just did to kind of change it up um, and just to kind of help you guys out if you're new to four wheel drive or want to know like, hey, am I in four high or four low? Yeah, I know, you can tell. There's a big difference between it we're just doing that to help you farther along um, and re know that if you're in four high or four low. So another thing, as you can see over here, um, we have our ARB and this is all key on and right now there is no key on, that's why we're not getting any lights coming on in here. But we're gonna have our ARB compressor, we have our front air locker and our rear air locker. So this is going to control your lockers, which is going to be really nice. Another thing that ARB does, if you did not know this, um, is that once you turn on your ARB locker, you cannot turn on your front compressor without turning on your rear compressor. And now I would kind of love to know if there's a, you know, that's in like ARB's kind of little setup, because um, this is all using ARB's wiring, but if there is a way to kind of, I don't know if there's ever a situation where you would just want your front locker and not your rear. Um, but if any of you guys have done that, wired it differently, I would love to hear about it. Please, you know, throw down a comment below, tell us like what you guys did. Um, I would also love to know like what, for all of you guys with the Chevy Express, are you guys running lockers and what other lockers have you ran and how do you like them? As far as I know, the only one that makes a locker for the front differential, which is a nine and a quarter diff, is ARB. So that's typically why we run the ARB lockers in the front and in the rear. 
um, is because it's the only one available. We don't want to mix it up and run like an e-locker in the rear and then an air in the front if we're going to be locking both wheels. So back up to the front, I mean overall you got this awesome nice like almost like wood grain marbly type build out in the Explorer van conversion. Another thing that I really dig about this in the Explorer van conversion is this awesome center console you see up here where they've kind of directed the heating and air conditioning rear um, towards the driver and also gave us you know additional lighting features here in order to be able to control more lights and you probably can't see it but there's also another one over here on this side and then you can see here you also have like a directional reading light you know, totally not necessity, but I love these little things that they do in here. Um, you know, the door panels, the seats, the center console, a lot of really cool things. And if you see right here, you got an awesome cooler where you could keep all kinds of Red Bulls for those long road trips. So a lot of really cool stuff in this awesome Explorer van. This is a Chevy. This is a 2017. This thing's like brand new. It's got like 5,700 miles on it. It's awesome. And it's headed to Colorado to go have some fun. I don't know if I missed anything in this whole thing. Um, and like I earlier plugged, hey, go check out Growing Up Garage. And everybody who comments below on this video, as long as make sure you go over and subscribe to uh, Caden's channel, we will be doing another raffle for a free hat. Who doesn't want a free hat? You know, I mean, we always love giving away swag, and um, we'll be sure to put some other stuff in there. Um, another thing, please, 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 um, and I should have probably put this in the media, middle of the video. But a ton of you guys that watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel. Please smash that subscribe button. Please give us a thumbs up. If you found this video educational, um, you know, you learned something from it, you enjoyed our cool walk around, please give us a thumbs up. And if you guys are super awesome, share this video. We're really trying to grow our YouTube in order to give you more content and in order to do that i need your guys's help um, in order to help us get the word out to what we were doing um, there's a ton of videos on our um, about overland expo where we got to do some awesome reviews if you haven't got to check out any of those views i'm gonna throw up another card right there so once again i'm jeremy from well tech designs thanks for coming out to the airport today and checking out our awesome explore four by four van conversion um please if you have questions throw them down below i will be sure to answer them and um, other than that see you guys next time